do not care what Elder Zen says. Your kind is not welcome here. I swear this upon the sacred pyre. Why do you treat me so? What did I ever do to you? Your people are the reason so many Scions have died. Pixie males hunt us for sport. We are a peaceful race and have done nothing to you. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a girl. I've never hunted your kind, nor would I ever. And that is the only reason we allow you to walk among us, despite the ominous portent of the moon. The moon? It never sets, and the sun never rises. Never before has this been so. It is an omen of doom. <sighs> despite the signs, I will reluctantly abide by Elder Zen's wishes. My name is Pain. I am the village blacksmith. So long as you do not interfere with our ways, you have nothing to fear from me. One day, the sacred pyre will consume us all. It is inevitable. I still disagree with the Elder's decision to allow Rollick to speak for our village. He is an outcast. Despite my objections, I will not stand in your way as you wander the village. You are safe. One day, the sacred pyre will consume us all. It is inevitable. I still disagree with the elf. Hand shaped clay dinnerware. Hand shaped clay dinnerware. This axe could help me chop down a tree branch for my flute. Can I have it? Our people believe in barter. In order to take the axe, you must give me something. What would you like? The Guesha fruit is a succulent delicacy among my people. It can only be found in the Garden of Eternity, which my people are forbidden from entering. Bring me the sweetest, ripest Guesha fruit you can find, and I will give you my axe. How can I find the sweetest Guesha fruit? The ripest fruit is only found at the top of the Tree of Eternity. The perfect fruit will be bright red and contain no brown spots. I need to bring to the blacksmith. The mountains are quite majestic, despite the haze. The mountains are quite majestic, despite the haze. The mountains are The water is fruit I need to bring to the blacksmith. Now I just have to figure out how I'm going to reach it because there's no way I can climb that tree. Thank you. 
I need to pick a fruit from atop the tree of eternity, but I can't reach. You're tall. Could you grab it for me? I cannot. Only the pure of heart may enter the garden of eternity. It is how I knew you could be trusted. My people have too much blood on our hands to enter. I have too much blood on my hands. I can help you, however. One moment. With that rope, you can easily climb the tree yourself. I'm not really sure what to say. Thank you, Rollick. As I said before, no gratitude is required. Okay, now which fruit should I pick? That's it, the perfect fruit. Here you go, one juicy and delicious Guesha fruit. Give it here. Delicious. Long have I waited to taste the sacred Guesha fruit. It was more succulent than I could have imagined. A deal is a deal. The axe is yours. Excellent. I'll take that. And now, I'll just need the carving knife. Then, I'll make your food. How should I craft a flute, Elder Zen? I have no woodworking skills. I believe in your ingenuity. If in doubt, ask around. I still don't understand how I'm able to read the Scion language. Hmm. 
The trees are so dense in that direction that it would be too dark to see without some form of light. On your way, little pixie, I seek solitude. It's a nice little fire. This reminds me of the time I went... The water is crystal clear. Nothing like the pools back home. When I was younger, I tried to bite into an ape. It could have been worse. I recently learned in school that raw acorns are poisonous. The trees are so dense in that direction that it would be too dark to see without some form of light. are younger than the others I've seen. These Can you No. I don't need another fruit. The water is cool. Those are some big rocks. If I'm to make a torch, I'll need oil.
Why is it that trees look so much more ominous when it's dark? This mound looks fresh. It's a grave site, probably the one Rel told me about. It's a Why is it that true? I wonder how many people it would take to lift it. Why is it? This mound looks fresh. It's a grave site, probably the one Rel told me about. Wow, that is one dull blade. Drat, the torch went out. Oh well, I got what I needed. Do you really expect me to carve a flute with this? Find some way to sharpen the dagger, then bring it back to me. I was wrong about you. Stay well, young pixie. If you are- Hand-shaped clay dinnerware. I've always wanted to learn to fight. Seeing a set table always makes me hungry. It's so beautiful outside. On your way, little pixie, I seek solitude. It's a There, that should satisfy. Ah, what a fine dagger. This will do nicely. That's everything I need to carve your flute. But doing so will take time. It's getting late. Why don't you find a place to rest for the night? Come back in the morning. Your flute will be ready then. It's getting late. 
May I stay in your village tonight to rest? I am afraid not, young pixie. While my people grudgingly accept your presence during the day, their fears of your hunters are too great. I cannot grant you rest here. You must find someplace else. I know it's a lot to ask, but could I possibly spend the night here, Rollick? I have nowhere else to go. Are you sure? No one has ever wished to join my camp before. Most tend to avoid me. Why do others avoid you, Rollick? You seem nice. They call me slow. They call me stupid. They say I am not like them. Are you sure you want to join my camp? Of course I'm sure. I've always felt different too. I would not be opposed to spending the evening in your company, Ophelia. However, my people have a custom. In order to receive, one must also give. I've learned that custom, actually. Then you understand. Bring us an acorn for supper, and you may stay in my camp tonight. Aren't acorns poisonous to eat? They are in raw form to pixies at least, but boiled, they are safe, and quite delicious. Acorns are pretty small. There are two of us, and, forgive me, you're rather large. Will one be enough? I intend to combine the acorn with other ingredients to make soup. One will be enough. Then I'll go get our dinner, Rollick. Be back soon! <laughs> Hand-shaped clay dinnerware. Can I rest here for the night, Pain? It's getting late. You may not. That is a decision only Elder Zen can make. Why are you so mistrustful of others, Pain? It's sad. I already told you of the atrocities committed by your kind. But it's not just toward Pixies. You seem to have suspicion of Rollick as well. Rolik is a simpleton. He... <sighs> Rolik did this to me. He marred my face for no reason other than carrying out my duty. No scion had ever harmed another until this. He has no honor. And now I must carry this disfigurement to my burning day at the Sacred Pyre. I'm sorry. I didn't know. <sighs> Rolik is different from the rest of us. His mind is not all there. It is not your concern, young one. You have proven your worth. While you cannot stay here for the night, I do wish you well. Come 
back in the morning. It's filled with rainwater. The Scions must collect it to water their crops. What's yours? Oh, me? I'm Web. Well then, Mr. Web, it's nice to meet you. So, Ophelia, now that we're best friends, do you want to play a game? What game? We spider folk call it Hurak. It's played with pebbles. Luckily, I have some here. I wish I could, Webb, but I'm in a hurry. I need to find an acorn for supper. There's one over there across the stream, but it's in spider folk territory. Is it safe? Oh, I wouldn't go there. That's spider folk territory. Yeah, I just said that. Most spider folk aren't friendly like me. They don't like it when intruders cross the stream that leads to their territory. Especially these days, now that the moon is out all day long, makes them cranky. Could you get that acorn for me then, Webb, as my new best friend? Tell you what, I'll play you for it. If you beat me in a game of her out, I'll give you your acorn. And if you win? Then you'll have to play me again. What do you say? Want to play? Let's play. Great! You can start this round. Again? Let's play. Okay, I'll start this time. pretty good at Hurat. Are you sure you've never played before? Hi. Eh, it doesn't matter. A deal's a deal. Let me go get you that acorn. Play a round of Hurat? Maybe some other time. You're lost. D 
Did you find an acorn for us? Here you go, Rollick. One acorn, just like you asked. Excellent. Pull up a log and join me by the fire. Tonight, we dine. We sat together as Rollick prepared our supper. He added diced fruit, freshly picked root vegetables, and the acorn to a pot filled with boiling water. To the pot, he added dried herbs from a pack in his tent and began to stir. I was apprehensive at first, but I had to admit the smell of the soup was surprisingly appealing. After 30 minutes, dinner was prepared, and we ate in companionable silence, watching the sky darken over the landscape. The food was surprisingly delicious. The root vegetables were earthy, and the fruit provided a subtle sweetness that accented the nuttiness of the softened acorn. It wasn't until it was fully dark, long after our bellies were full, that I mustered the courage to speak. Thank you again for vouching for me with your village. Think nothing of it, young pixie. I did what was just. Still, you didn't have to do it. I am called to do what honor demands. Is that why you were excommunicated? Pain told me what happened. Why did you attack him? I am a pariah. To speak with me, to share my camp, is a grave dishonor. Why? What did you do? Two years ago, I was elected Guard Supreme by my people. I wore the chain of lead ore with pride and protected Kisiko village from its enemies. One day, our village came under attack by a band of pixie warriors. I defended the village, as did Pain. We fought the invaders to the death. In the end, only one remained. A young boy with no experience, forced to fight against his will. I took pity on the child, but Pain insisted we kill him. I interceded. I stood between Pain and the boy. I drew my weapon and told the boy to run home. Pain was furious. He moved to follow the boy, intent to kill him, and I... I marred his face. No scion had ever harmed another. Not until that day. It was an accident, Rollick. You were defending a child. A child who had invaded our village. Pain had every right to kill him. Still, what you did was... Honorable. And I lost everything because of it. My position as Guard Supreme, even my home. Not everything. Not your honor. Rollick bid me good night then and allowed me to sleep in his tent while he kept watch. 
I lied down on the rocky surface, worried that I wouldn't be able to sleep. But soon, fatigue from the long day overwhelmed me, and my sore muscles relaxed on the cool ground. With Rollick watching over me, for the first time in as long as I could remember, I felt safe. Before long, I drifted off into a comfortable sleep. <laughs>